Oh my god, look at that amazing artist, drawing just like a printer prints. How do they do it? It's like magic. Or is it like magic is what I asked in the last video where I attempted to draw like a printer and showed you how a ninny like me can do it by tracing and might have insinuated that maybe they did too. G'day everyone, I'm Jazza and in this video, someone's gonna be exposed. Or maybe I've already exposed myself. This is sounding very weird very quickly. <laughs> Recently I made a video where I attempted to draw like a printer. Is that the lawnmower man again? You guys know how I do this. I'll be back. Teach this guy a lesson. Just wait there, I'll be back. Oof, that'll fix that problem. That shouldn't be an issue anymore. Am I right? <laughs> Back to business, where were we? In the last video, when I attempted to draw like a printer, in the process I exposed other artists for potentially using the same method to do the same thing. What? Actually, I've got to give myself some leniency here. I never explicitly said that they do it. I said I don't know how it would be possible without cheating. But here's the thing. <laughs> the artist who did most of the printer method videos that I actually reacted to in that video made a response. <laughs> Here it is. And there's an opening message for me. Thank you, Jazza, for watching my video. I'm so happy that my drawing skills surprised him. He's a great artist. Stop. But maybe drawing like a printer is difficult for him. So he thought that I used the same trick as him. I know he does have a sense of humor and he doesn't make sure that I use the trick, but actually drawing like a printer is not too hard for me. I also plan to make some ideas harder than it soon. Ooh. Why do I feel like someone is gonna profoundly drop the mic on me and teach me a lesson. This is a panoramic video about my working process of drawing like a printer. He's a great artist. That's my favorite bit. Can we go back to that bit? That's good. Let's just pause there. Can we just leave it there? Good. <coughs> it's got two cameras. Just to make sure I know how wrong I am. There's already 42,000 people who are, What are they saying? What are they saying? I can't watch the rest of the video. I need to know if people hate me already. Jazza will be so proud and happy. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to see the result. Should be noted that Jazza left everything up for debate. He neither knew if others had done the same thing with the tracing or if they were just incredibly talented. That is true. Play the clip. Now I don't know 100% for sure if the way that the videos we watched earlier were created were done using the same little sneaky sneaky trick that I used, but I'm pretty sure they used something along those lines. I'm in the clear. I never directly accused. I quite, quite directly sat on the fence. Thank you very much. He's just gonna do it, isn't he? He's, he's just doing it. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Three cameras. Is this what I've provoked you to do? Three cameras. I did come across quite skeptical. I will own that. <clears throat> That's on me. Look at how many, hang on. How many lines is the, de are the details of the eyes done in? That is mighty impressive. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, lucky I put down the job sheet. a lot of mouth water. These gags are worth it, okay? Subscribe, like and make sure to like this video and subscribe for more classy gags and occasionally art. <laughs> so where does that leave us? Because in the video I made where I drew like a printer, I was literally going to or tempted to use the word exposed in the, in the title or in the thumbnail. I didn't because I left room for some people to be more talented than I can perceive. And thank God, right? <laughs> But I, w I was nearly going to to do that because it blew my mind, frankly, and now it legitimately has just blown it completely away. So on honestly, massive credit to DP Art and Drawing. First of all, thank you so much for being a good sport. And second of all, kudos on your talent. And demonstrating that and showing us all how to do it is just so phenomenal, just. And there's the other thing I actually did want to just touch on is um, 
I'm an idiot, that's it, right? So in the video where I was going to expose people, I, I was basically just being my goofy self, or at least the amplified version of my goofy self. But in no way do I ever, ever intend to tear other people down, which is why I made sure to leave that buffer just to let my skepticism entertain people, but also give people credit if credit is due, and it's due. So now I'm gonna level with you guys, right? I think it's pretty obvious, especially those of you who've watched enough videos, to know a couple of things about me. One, I get competitive, not in an aggressive way, but in a way to motivate myself. I, I get inspired by other people and then by trying to either do something to another level or make something entertaining or outdo myself, I get a bit fired up. And then that in combination with the fact that I, as you can tell by a lot of the gags and silly shenanigans that get up to, I amplify a lot and, and I, I tend to take things a little bit too far sometimes. <laughs> that has its place. <laughs> but in all seriousness, art is about building and learning and being creative and uplifting each other. But entertainment is about taking the and having a bit of fun and sometimes getting up to too much mischief. I struggle to walk the line between those two at times. But I have to say, DP Art Drawing handed it right back to me and it's amazing. So we're gonna have a bit of fun with that today. And in the spirit of being inspired by and challenged by someone incredibly creative, in this video, I am going to re-attempt to draw like a printer. Now keep in mind, this was my first attempt. <laughs> to do it without cheating and without a reference. So, I'll take a bit more time this time though. And I have a method to follow that has been laid out for me. Uh, I think what they did is, is quite clever. They have the, like a tablet thing. So he zoomed into details and um, sort of did it row by row like that. So I'm gonna try and do it exactly the same way. I absolutely do not expect to get a similar result, but I'm gonna learn something and I'm gonna try something. And that's the point of creativity. There we go, we just turned this into it. Wonderful positive thing. Don't feel like that too soon, because I have to draw something and it's not gonna be as good. Let's do it. Now, to keep in theme with the last video where I photoshopped a press picture of myself onto the body of a magician, I thought I'd stick to my narcissistic tendencies and draw another press picture of myself, which uh, has colorful paint playfully dripping down my smiling face. Simply because when turned black and white, that paint could be any manner of degrading substance, such as uh, human fecal matter. And if there's any challenge where I'm bound to take a dump on myself, it's this one. <laughs> So, then with the exact same setup as my compatriot, I have several room cameras showing that there's no cheating taking place. Notice that there is no picture overlay on the monitors in front of me, and I'm entirely focused on the table below, which has my reference image on an iPad and the drawing as it takes shape. The biggest part of this challenge is proportions, and maybe there's a smarter way to pick the image being drawn. I mean, now that I think of it, I actually think most of the examples we've seen have characters or actors with smooth round heads or clear, simple silhouettes. So, you know, I stupidly, of course, picked a picture of me with bits of hair randomly sticking out, and I had to try and gauge where the start and ends of hairs were and how, where, where the texture would end up and how the curvature of the long hairs would look. It's not cool! So I had to try and do that and keep the overall proportions and the messy silhouette of the image as close to my reference as possible. Now, when I got past the hairline and my forehead, it did get a little easier in one way. I mean, I guess I have a pretty big forehead and that's a lot of smooth, simple shading, so have that going for me, which is nice. But I didn't have to try and plot out the texture and work with the tricky levels of contrast and detail that was in the hair. However, it soon got tricky again as I got to the eyes and the ears, because getting these even slightly wrong would really warp the whole shape of the rest of the face. And if the eyes don't look like me, well, you know, there goes the whole outcome. Fortunately, I gained a bit of confidence after this because I really did feel like after the eyes were done, it did look like me. But the discouraging thing was after drawing the nose, when I thought, oh no, I've gone and drawn the nose too big. But no, that that's just my nose. I just have a big old hunker, so. Not sure whether to feel proud of the photorealism here or uncomfortable with the breadth of my nasalus maximus. Now 
while overall I was happier with the outcome than I expected, to be honest, I did feel like it's from the mouth and below that I dropped the ball a bit. I mean, maybe it's that after three or four hours of this I was getting impatient or sloppy, but the mouth didn't work well. With the lines between the teeth and then slightly muddy shading, it sort of ended up looking a bit dirty in the mouth, and also the proportions of the chin were a little bit off too. But I think by this stage, to be completely honest with you, I was just happy to finish and embrace the final imperfections. <laughs> <laughs> ah. mm. Yeah. Well, this is the last time I'm doing this. But uh, carpal tunnel and tiredness and anxiety aside, I, I honestly, if I'm going to be honest with you, which I honestly am, this is better than I expected it would be. <laughs> it's it's off, as you can see. There are some discrepancies <laughs> between the two. There's a little asymmetry there, and I think if you overlay, in fact, let's do that, you ready? I'm gonna find the picture that I used as a reference. Wait, 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 wait. there it is, there it is. Uh, we'll bring down the opacity. Is it this one? It's that one. All right, we're gonna line them up and see how close we got. Good. All right, I think that's as lined up as I can get. So that that's my drawing. And that's my face. So, this is not photorealistic. And I did say at the end of the last video that realism is not my thing. However, I tried something today that obviously if you watched the last video, I didn't have enough faith in myself to actually do even partially well. So I figured out a way to cheat it. And then I assumed that other people did the same. Now, obviously I take being put in my place with great acceptance and humility and so much so that I was willing to draw myself with a little bit of poop on my head just to show that I'm ashamed. Shame. 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 But you know what? I had fun trying. I say fun like very loosely. It's fun for like the first few minutes and then like the last few minutes, the middle bit's pretty crap to be honest. <laughs> but when you get to the end and then you realize, okay, I, I could have done that worse. Again, not the greatest achievement in the world, but I did better than I expected. And that is a great outcome, at least in my humble opinion. But you know what? It takes all sorts to make a world. And if you enjoy the amazing talents of someone who can do photorealistic representation and printer drawing methods like DP Art Drawing, once again, the link to their channel is in the description. But there is no one single right answer or way of being creative. So therefore, if you are also interested in this idiot and how he tries different things in one way or another, please make sure to like this video and subscribe for more fun with art and creativity, whether we cheat to get the result that we think is effective or whether we genuinely jump in the deep end and see how it turns out. You're bound to enjoy the results here on this channel. So make sure to subscribe for more fun with art and creativity. And while you're doing all of that, leave your comments down in the uh, comment section below on video ideas you think I might challenge myself with in the future and check out the other videos over there you might enjoy. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video and I enjoyed the process. Thank you everyone for being a part of the conversation and a part of this journey. And until next time, I'll see you later.